In the aftermath of the Oscars, everyone has been talking about what went down between Will Smith and Chris Rock. After Chris Rock told a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith walked right up on stage in front of the entire world and slapped Chris Rock across the face. We've heard tons of stories about what happened in the aftermath, but some people who are determined to make the story about them are the hosts of the Oscars, Amy Schumer and Wanda Sykes. We talked about these women a lot in the lead up to the Oscars because we knew it was going to be terrible. We knew it was going to be unfunny. We knew it was going to be woke and we knew it was going to be cringe. And now seemingly these women still want to be talked about because they're making it all about them. Not only did Amy Schumer say that she might be taking some time off because of how triggered and traumatized she is by the event, but of course, Wanda Sykes is also demanding an apology from Will Smith as well. This is sad. This is pathetic. But if you know these women, it shouldn't be a surprise. We knew that how cringe it was going to be because these simply aren't funny women. They're just not. And they're all also activists. They're known for being activists. So they may have been the perfect people to be the host for Hollywood's woke Oscars. But let's get to Amy Schumer first. Then we have video of what Wanda Sykes said. Amy Schumer is still triggered and traumatized traumatized by Oscar's drama from days ago, waiting for the sickening feeling to go away. I can I could not imagine somehow making this all about me. Starting Sunday night when it happened, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock for a joke he made, became the biggest news story in America. Everyone has been talking about it, and but people are starting to move on except for Amy Schumer. The 40-year-old stand-up comedian was one of the three hosts of the Academy Awards, and apparently she's still experiencing negative emotions related to Smith hitting Rock on national television. Schumer took to Instagram to express her thoughts on the matter. Now, that Instagram post has been deleted because of all the backlash she got, but we can still go through it. She admitted to being triggered and traumatized by the event. Let's hear, here's her entire quote. She posted a picture of her in bed, I think with her child, like using her child to garner sympathy for something that she wasn't even involved in. She wrote, I think we can all agree that the best way to unpack what happened is to stream my series at Life and Beth Hulu and to see me on tour this fall, but for real, still triggered and traumatized. I love my friend Chris, believe he handled like a pro, stayed up there and gave an Oscar to his friend Questlove and the whole thing was so disturbing. So much pain in Will Smith. Anyway, I'm still in shock and stunned and sad. I'm proud of myself and my co-hosts, but yeah, waiting for this sickening feeling to go away from what we all witnessed. And even talked about potentially like taking some time off, like taking a month off to deal with the drama. This is sad and this is pathetic. We know the Hollywood elites came out to support her. Ultimately, the backlash was so bad that she deleted it. But uh, now, on to Wanda Sykes because she was even more adamant. She is demanding an apology from Will Smith over what happened. Now, the first thing I want to go over, over is this, where she talks about how sickening it felt. And, uh, you know, I... I I'm kind of interested in this perspective from people who were there, like what it felt like to be there in that moment. So let's listen to this. And I just felt so awful for my, my friend, you know, Chris. And, uh, and, and it, was, it was sickening. It was absolutely, I physically felt ill. And I'm still a little traumatized me by too, it. Me too, me um, too. Wait, come on. I'm still a little traumatized by it. Like, oh, could be sickening is one thing. To see something and not know how to react, that's one thing. To, to be traumatized by it, it's someone getting slapped. You know, traumatized, really? Uh, you're not involved. You're not the one that got hit. Come the fuck on. Um, yeah, because it, 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 and for them to let him stay in that room and enjoy the rest of the show and accept his award, I was like, how gross is this? This is just the wrong message, you know? Like That's a good point, and I do agree with that. That, that is a very good point by her. You know, the, the idea that they did let him stay in there, that is the wrong message. To let him receive the best actor award, to be celebrated and applauded, it is pretty gross. You assault somebody, you get escorted out the building, and that's it, you know? Uh, uh, but, but for them to let him continue, I thought, I thought it was, was gross. I, I, I do agree with that last part. The part of her being traumatized, that is sad. But she does follow it up here. And I had to go to this clip, the this, uh, I, I don't know, the Ellen Show right there. 38 million subscribers. Holy cow on the Ellen Show. That is a lot. I didn't want to have to go here, but here we are. This is the part that I think is so absolutely bitch made. You know what? I mean, I know he, he, he apologized to Chris, but um, I believe that, you know, we were the host, right? So we were the 
This is our house. We're inviting you in. We're hosting. We're keeping. We're Are gonna you kidding care me? Y'all tonight. Make sure you have a good time. And no one has apologized to us. And we work really hard to put that show together. So yeah. So I'm like. That's why I, I, I wore. I'm just. I'm like. <laughs> she wants an apology. She wants an apology to the hosts about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Are you kidding me? And that's the thing. Th these women were so excited to do this because, again, these women are so desperate for attention because they're not funny. They had to get three women just to do the job of one host. And it was cringe and it was terrible. And it was the second lowest rated Oscars of all time. Yet you think people should be bending over trying to grovel to you to apologize for what happened. The only people that they should really be worried about is Chris Rock in terms of who the Academy should apologize to. Yeah, of course. A, you know, hey, to, to all the people in here we're sorry you had to go through that we're sorry if your night got ruined but whatever like the fact that she wants individual an apology to the host get over yourself wanda sykes get over yourself amy schumer these women are exactly who we thought they were uh not funny cringe and making it all about themselves let me know your thoughts in the comments below smash a like button subscribe to the channel ring the bell for notifications share this video out there and i'll talk to you later thanks for watching everyone and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.